Hi, I'm Ginger, and I wanted to bring a teaching today about head coverings. Um, this teaching is going to come from 1 Corinthians, and uh, I wanted to uh, bring you this message because uh, I think 1 Corinthians chapter 11 is sometimes um, misunderstood, and uh, so I wanted to just share with you uh, the understanding that I got from Abba Father on it. Okay, this head covering that I have on is just a simple scarf and it ties up underneath back here and up. I have a, you know, a whole bunch of scarves. Uh, I go to Walmart and I get them. Uh, this one, particular one right here, uh, it's just a, basically it was a big scarf that I just cut down to fit my head. And uh, it ties underneath in the back and then uh, I can uh, throw it on my head and <laughs> it goes over the top and then I tie it underneath. But uh, the reason for head coverings, uh, this, these passages that I'm going to read, uh, the reason for it is because of the angels. That's what I'm understanding. That's one of the reasons why women are to cover the head. Men are not to cover their head when they pray. Uh, so I'll start with uh, 1 Corinthians 11, 1, and I'll go through 15. Be followers of me, even as I am of Christ. Now, brethren, I praise you that you remember all my things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. But I determine that you know that Christ is uh, the head of every man, and the man is the woman's head, and God is Christ's head. Every man praying or prophesying, having anything on his head, dishonors his head. So the man is not to cover his head when he prays or prophesies. But every woman that prays or prophesies bareheaded dishonors her head, for it is even one very thing as though she were shaven. So it's a dishonor for a woman not to cover her head when she prays or prophesies. That's what the Bible says. And uh, some people think that their hair is their covering. And that, that is one type of covering, but this particular covering that it's talking about is different from your hair because if it was your hair, he says to do it when you pray or prophesy. So you cannot take your hair off when you're not praying or when you're not prophesying. So it must be some type of a hat or a scarf or something on your head. And I'm not uh, legalistic about what you put on your head. It could be anything, you know. Uh, it could be um, some type of a beanie, a slope beanie. Or in the winter you might want to wear a, a, just like a knit cap or something. or a ball cap or something, but a woman is supposed to cover when she prays. And I don't cover every hair strand, as you can see. I leave some hair uh, showing, and, because it doesn't say here, cover every single strand of hair. If it did, I would cover every strand, but since it doesn't uh, say that, I don't. I don't want to look um, like a Muslim. I don't want people to think I'm of the Muslim faith, so I'm really glad, actually, that he told us to cover your head, but he didn't say cover every strand of hair. So it says in Verse 5, but every woman that prays or prophesies bareheaded dishonors her head, for it is even one very thing as though she were shaven. Therefore, if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn, to clip the hair short. And if it be shame for a woman to be shorn, to clip the hair short, shaven, let her be covered. So she, it's saying let her be covered. Because, um, you know, when she prays or prophesies. Uh, verse 7, for a man... Uh, ought not to cover his head for as much as he is the image and glory of God but the woman is the glory of the man for the man is not of the woman but the woman of the man for the ma man was not created for the woman's sake but the woman for the man's sake therefore ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angel so this is where I get that from this is because of the angel I don't totally understand why but it says it so I do it and the main thing is to be obedient to the Father because we'll stand before Him one day and we'll give account for everything we thought and did, all our actions and um, our motives and everything. So we should obey Him. And his, one of the reasons is for the angels and we don't have to worry about anything, just obey. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in the Lord. For as a woman is of the man, so is the man also by the woman, but all things are of God. Verse 13, judge for yourselves, is it comely, proper, that a woman pray unto God uncovered? Does not nature itself teach you that if a man has long hair, it is a shame unto him? But if a woman has long hair, it is praise unto her, for her hair is given her 
or a covering. But if any man lusts to be contentious, we have no such custom, neither the churches of God. So we're not going to want to fight over this. It's just something I wanted to bring up today because it is in the Bible. And people who say, oh, you know, well, if it was important, he would have, uh, you know, stressed it. Well, I think stress. this is stressing it. Fifteen verses on one topic, to me, is stressing it. And uh, so I did look up uh, in the... Uh, come here, Kezi. I wanted to introduce to you my little granddaughter. Here she is. Say hi, Kezi. And... Could you go get me the Bible back there, Kezi? That one under the alarm clock, please? Thank you. This is my granddaughter, Kezi. And uh, she is such a good helper. And she's such a sweet, sweet granddaughter. She loves the Messiah. Um, I was just reading... Uh, thank you. I was just reading from the Geneva New Testament. This is the 1560 Geneva New Testament. And now I'm going to read from the King James Version. Um... I'm not going to read all the passages that I just got done reading, but I wanted to read just a little bit out of the King James Version. Um, okay, so we learned that we are to cover our head when we pray or prophesy. That's what the Word said for women, but not for men. Men are not to cover their head when they pray or pro- prophesy. And um, so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to read this one verse in First Corinthians. Oh, let me go back to First Corinthians. That was Second Corinthians. Okay, here it is. So, um, get a read five. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonors her head, for that is even all one as if she were shaven. And I looked up the word um, uncovered. Wait, is this the one? Uh, okay, it's number. Let me see here. Um, here we go. Wait a second. I'm going to um, go to the next verse. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. Okay, that's number 2619 where it says covered. So I'm going to read it again. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But, But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. I looked up the word covered in this verse. In the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, in the Greek, it's number 2619, um, and it said, in essence, veil, cover, hide. So, you are to veil. It says, let her be veiled. Okay? So, uh, we are to do that, us women, and it's not salvational as far as, like, you are not saved because you wear a head covering. You're saved by grace through faith in Messiah. It's his grace, his unmerited favor that he gave uh, to us because he was perfectly holy, or kodesh is the Hebrew word for holy. He was pure and undefiled, without sin, and he died for us on that tree. He came from heaven, you know, of course, into the Virgin Mary, and grew up and died for us on the uh, tree for our sins and washed away our sins. And, of course, the Father raised him up the third day after he died. And so the point of the matter is is that you are saved by grace through faith, not by a head covering. But still, I mean, we find in here that you're not supposed to fornicate. Uh, and so you, you obey that, right? You say, okay, it says not to fornicate, so I won't fornicate. Or it says in here to love your neighbor as yourself. So you do that. You love your neighbor as yourself because it says to love your neighbor as yourself. Well, it says in here for women to cover their head when they pray or when they prophesy. So I just obey it. So thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a very blessed day. I keep my head covering on uh, when I wake up and until I go to bed at night because there is a verse also that says, it's, I think it's in Thessalonians, it says, pray without ceasing. So I pray, you know, throughout the day, so I just keep mine on. Thank you for listening.